Hey guys, in this video, we have some fully remote work from home jobs hiring all around the world right now. And I'm going to show you some of the best companies to find worldwide work from home jobs in all sorts of different categories, whether you want something with no interview, whether you want something that pays really well or has really good benefits, full-time, part-time, etc. So the first company we're looking at is Coalition Technologies. Coalition Technologies is an SEO and basically design company, like a web design company. They have 28 work from home jobs that they're actively hiring for and they are a company that hires all around the world. They also have these when you apply, they have these skills tests that you take, and these skills tests can help you get a job even if you don't meet all the criteria set in their qualifications on their job application pages. So they are more flexible, I would say, with their application process than a lot of companies because of this. So if you're looking for something where you can do something without having to be on the phone, for instance, you have an accounting position, you have a big commerce developer, you have conversion rate optimization specialist, you have copy specialist if you're someone who's really good at writing copy, you know, you have things like email marketing specialist, other developer jobs, graphic designer, again, more developer jobs, video editor, you have uh, like a payroll specialist, PPC analyst if you want to specialize in Google and Bing advertisements, you have also things like an SEO analyst would be a great one if you are someone who knows a lot about search engine optimization. You have a Shopify developer, social media specialist if you want to create content for social media, and you also have like a web designer and a WordPress developer. So if you were to click on one of these, like let's say you wanted to look at, you know, as an example, like an accounting position. So obviously I'm not going to go over every single job here because that would take a very long time, but I just showed you that you have a lot of different options here if you want to say avoid being on the phone, if you want a company that's hiring worldwide. This is a great one to find something full time. It's also a great one if you want good benefits. So if you're looking at the benefits here, they mentioned that you have some of the most competitive profit sharing bonus plans in the industry, paying up to 50% of company profits to full time employees each month. A highly competitive paid time off plan, subsidized gym memberships to help team members feel their best. You also get medical, dental, vision, and life insurance packages if you're in the US. They have an international health insurance reimbursement program for all international team members and device upgrade and learning reimbursement programs as well. They have motivating career development plans with clearly defined goals and rewards and additional job specific incentives and bonuses. So really good benefits. Now they tell you right here, in terms of location, they use time tracking software and they specialize in supporting remote team members. And they've been doing that for over a decade. They welcome your application wherever in the world it's coming from. So that's another plus here. Now as far as qualifications, before I go over all these qualifications and you get intimidated, again, this is just an example. This is an accounting position. There's not really any reason for me to go over every single thing for one position because you might be more interested in the social media specialist or you might be more interested in the email marketing specialist or something like that. But you see the pay range can vary but they can pay as much as $50 per hour. They also tell you that they're looking for people who do well in their skills test and will consider these candidates even if past experience or educational background criteria are not met. So if you're looking for a company with flexible qualifications in terms of they'll, they'll mention a bunch of things here, like this one says three years experience, maybe a bachelor's degree in accounting or finance. Um, obviously that varies by the job, but when they tell you this, if you do well in the skills test, they're not gonna be as concerned about how you got those skills, whether you're self-taught or you learned it in college or you learned it from experience. That as long as you do well in the skills test, they will consider you for the job. And they have good pay, they pay up to $50 per hour for something like an accountant. And then you have really good benefits as well. And they also support team members remotely worldwide. So pretty much any job is gonna have these things. Pay may vary a little bit. Um, qualifications will vary a little bit by the job, but it seems like a good place to check if you're looking for something worldwide where you're not as limited by your location. And they have a 4.3 out of five star rating, 83% recommend working here to a friend. For benefits, they have a 3.8 out of 5 star rating out of 14 ratings. Interview wise, they have a 2.9 out of 5 difficulty rating, which I'd say is pretty average. And then most um, people had a positive experience 
the Polaron here at least more than negative or neutral, which is also a good sign as well. Another company that is frequently hiring worldwide and still hiring right now is DuckDuckGo. You may have heard of DuckDuckGo before. They are a search engine that values internet privacy, especially. So they have things like private search engines, a tracker, blocker, mobile browser to stay private online. So it's supposed to be kind of like a, you know, like a Google or something like that, except it's supposed to be more private and uh, keeping your data, you know, more private, more specifically. But the jobs they have available right now, they usually have some engineering positions here. So if you're not interested in engineering positions, you can go to the next job that I have on here. But if you are in interested in engineering and you want to be able to work worldwide, you see like worldwide remote right here, you know, this is a job company where they are known for paying really well. If you look at how much this job pays, for instance, $176,000 a year plus stock options. And then you also have, you know, a diverse company with equity and inclusion. You have a remote first company. They have people working all over the world. They trust you to get your done wherever and whenever. This is another thing about the company that they let you kind of have some flexibility with your hours. Also, they have a commitment to personal growth. So you have an annual budget of $1,250 a year to invest in professional development, leadership, and many different types of leaders and possible combinations of leadership roles. So you can grow your career in a way that aligns best with your personal goals. So you may be able to work your way up in the organization. And they also give you a lot of work-life balance. They have the freedom and flexibility to organize their own work schedules. So this is really cool. You get really high pay, the flexibility to make your own schedule, and you can work from home while applying from just about anywhere in the world. Now again, most of the jobs you find here will usually be like engineering positions, like software engineering positions, but every once in a while you might find something a little different. Um, at DuckDuckGo, they have a 4.9 out of 5 star rating. 100% of people recommend working here to a friend. As far as benefits, they have a 5 out of 5 star rating, although it is a small sample size, it is still a very good rating, obviously perfect. Uh, 3.2 out of 5 is a little bit above what I would say most companies have. I'd say most companies average about 3, but you know, you get a lot with that. And as far as the breakdown of interview experience, I'd say that's fairly average. Most companies are fairly split between positive and negative with like, you know, 10 to 20% being neutral. I'd say that's very split. That's very common here. And then again, they'll tell you the pay on their application pages, but I'd say most of the jobs I've seen here are are six figures plus. Another company to check out if you're looking for something where you're not on the phone all the time, you get to apply from just about anywhere in the world is 10up.com. 10up.com is a place where they basically do websites and online tools. That's kind of the stuff that they build. And they are a company that also hires worldwide. They tell you this right here, that they're a globally distributed remote team across six continents and over 29 countries. Now, benefits that you get when you work here are paid time off and holidays, bonus opportunities, professional development budget, paid parental leave, flexible work schedule, they have an annual all-team summit, health insurance, which is regional, and retirement plans with company match is also regional. But you get to work from home, you get to apply from around the world, and you get all of these benefits with pretty much every job here. Now, they have lots of jobs here. Typically, they have a bunch of engineering teams here at a bunch of engineering jobs here as well, kind of like DuckDuckGo does, but they usually have more available. And then they also have, you know, maybe a few other things available from time to time. You know, you see some kind of leadership positions on here. And mostly right now, they have just programming type jobs. But if you were to just click on one of these as an example, they'll tell you usually remote anywhere around the globe is where you can get hired from, unless they tell you otherwise right here. I don't care what country you're in, you should go ahead and apply if you feel like you are qualified. You also have options for flexible and alternative work schedules. Um, they've been remote since day one, and that's kind of part of their cultures, being a fully remote company. Now, obviously, your you know qualifications and what you do will vary depending on the position. I'm not going to focus too much on this right now. Right now. Um, salary range, they tell you at the bottom here, they are very upfront and transparent about salary. So this one, for instance, pays up to 120,000 a year. Benefits, multiple paid time off programs, including accrued paid time off, parental leave, et cetera. 
health, dental, and life insurance programs. You have retirement con contribution programs, flexible and alternate schedule programs. They even have a four-day work week configuration Monday through Thursday that you can do if you want. $3,000 U.S. Uh, accrued annually and professional development budget. You have a global company summits, end of year all hands bonus program, along with smaller opportunities for recognition throughout the year, and a director of engineering that supports your career growth and development. Now, obviously, you know, this might vary depending on the position if you're not in engineering, but it's a great company with really nice perks for working there. 3.8 out of five stars, 60% recommend working here to a friend. That's overall. And then for benefits specifically, they have a 3.9 out of 5 star rating. Interview wise at 10 up, they have a 2.9 out of 5 difficulty rating, which is fairly standard for most companies. And they also have really good uh, feedback for basically interviewing here positive 72%, negative 28%. So that's a really good breakdown. More than double of people who, who interviewed here had a positive experience versus negative. Now next we have some much easier work from home companies like TELUS International, which is one you may have seen me cover before because they just meet so many of the criteria that people are looking for. Now one thing I will say about TELUS International, don't expect to get paid you know, super well or if you do get paid super well for a certain position, it may not have a ton of hours. So some of their high, higher paying positions are still gonna probably be part time and very flexible. But if you are looking for something more to do on the side, this is a great one to check out if you are from a lot of different countries around the world. Now, if you go to all jobs, you don't want to do that. That's going to take you to the more traditional jobs. If you want more flexibility, you want to be able to work from home, go to the AI community section and you'll end up on this page. Now, you'll see a few different um, examples here. You'll see sometimes you'll see the first few ones are in the US because, you know, a lot of the people who look for these are in the US, like Internet as Evaluator. You have Internet Safety Evaluator as well. For instance, if you wanted to look at this one, you know, it pays you $14 per hour to, you know, review things online on the Internet. That's essentially what most of these jobs do. You have something to do with reviewing the Internet, whether it's maps, whether it's ads, whether it's search results, etc. And then you'll have all sorts of different countries and languages as well, like Internet Safety Evaluator, Ads Assessor, Internet Assessor as well. And another one that you can look up, for instance, would be like a online data analyst. That's another fairly common one that you can find here in many different countries. So for instance, if you look up online data analyst, you'll see lots of different countries on here. And then, you know, I'll show you the US version of this just as an example, but this is a great one where you can, this is a great company where you can just find all sorts of just side jobs or part-time jobs that you can do as a freelancer. They don't typically require an interview, but you may have to take a test to prove you're ready for the job, which obviously is usually one or the other for any job. You know, it's hard to find a job that doesn't have a test or an interview for, qualifi for qualification purposes. But for this one, basically what you would do is you would improve the content and quality of digital maps. And this is geared towards people who know a lot about like basically local and national geography. And when you say local and national, obviously that means within your country. So you're not expected to know like worldwide geography if you're applying for the one in the US. It's just you need to have a good understanding of US geography. So obviously these are gonna vary quite a bit. I'm not gonna go over the whole uh, job description for any of these just because you know it might depend on which job you want for each company and there's no point in me going over every single one of these. But um, as you can see, the qualifications are fairly similar across all of these. So if you look at requirements here, most of them do not require experience. They don't require a degree. They don't require you know a very specific schedule. You have a very flexible schedule actually. You can work your own hours. So you can kind of be in charge of when you work as long as you get it done. And you need to be 18 years of age or older. This may vary depending on the country, but uh, for the most part, the qualifications are pretty similar across all jobs here. Obviously pay and things like that can vary. But as far as the overall reviews for TELUS International, they have 3.6 out of five stars, 68% recommend working here to a friend. And then the, the other main thing you wanna look at with this company is how much you can get paid. So you'll see some averages here from what other people post. That doesn't mean they're gonna be exact. 
So don't get your hopes up if you see something that's a, that seems a little high, like this one says US Raider is $43 an hour. That doesn't mean you're gonna make $43 an hour if you apply for a US Raider. Um, but it seems that some people have earned that much. Now, some people say 25 an hour. Some people say, you know, you also can look at the full range. It might be a very wide range when the average sounds good, but the low end of that range might be pretty low. So you just need to be prepared that pretty much any number within this range could be in the realm of possibility for how much you earn with the job. Now, another one I just showed you, obviously, is the online data analyst. And that is one where you might have some feedback as well. You have 19 people who have left feedback for this one. They said they averaged 44 an hour. So the idea of actually being able to make anywhere close to that, even if you got 34 an hour on the low end, that would still be really good, of course. But if you are looking for something from a lot of different countries that hires people without an interview, that's a great one to check out. And then last but not least, we have a company called We Localize. We Localize is a company that has dozens and dozens of work from home jobs all the time. As you can see, most of these are going to be in all sorts of countries. So it might not be dozens of jobs in one specific country, but they will have, you know, at least probably a few available positions in each uh, major country that they hire in. And they don't really hire just like worldwide for one position. They do it divided by the country. So they'll have one for Brazil, one for the United States, one for Spain, etc. Now, as far as what you're looking for, you have the AI services, kind of like how TELUS International does things, and they will have the more traditional positions lower on this page. But at the top, you have AI service general application. These top two say on site. So you want to avoid these if you're trying to work from home. Now, if you want to work from home, you see freelance video editors and it says remote, then you can check that one out as long as you're in the right country. Now, this one, you know, these will vary in terms of responsibilities, requirements, and all of that. And some of these actually give you more details than others. And then you have like a data validation section here. When you go to this section, this is usually the main section you want to look at. Um, it's usually going to have the most availability. So you have, say, Scout Junior Quality Coordinator. You have a few of these available. And then you have Scout Search Quality Rater. Scout Search Quality Rater positions are you know, a plenty right now. And you also have ads quality raters. Also, quite a few of these available right now in all sorts of different languages and countries. Those are the two most common. And if you're wondering kind of, okay, well, what's a general idea of what these require? Well, most of these are gonna be part-time. A lot of them will be either contractor or an actual employee. Now, the average hours are usually pretty close to this for most positions I've seen here, 10 hours to 29 hours a week, set your own schedule. They also let you start ASAP as long as you pass the test. You're gonna have some learning modules you'll have to go through and then pass a certain test to get started. But some of these require, some of these will have benefits, not all of them. I wouldn't expect benefits most of the time. Requirements are all fairly similar. You have no experience usually required. You can't have done this type of job before in the past and you can't have multiple people in the same household doing this job either. So for whatever reason, but um, you need to be web savvy and other than that, you need to sign a non-disclosure agreement and then you need to pass a test before starting work. That's usually kind of going to take the place of an interview. So instead of an interview, you might have to pass this test. And then other than that, you know, it's going to depend on the country. It's going to depend on the job, how much you earn. You can look at averages, of course, but if you look at, say, averages for jobs that are very similar to what we saw there, again, most of these are part-time, so that's why I like to look at hourly but you're looking at you know anything that says like search quality rater, there you go, 22 to 40, uh, 29 average based on five people giving you feedback. It can go much lower than that, so just be prepared for that. Um, depending on the country, it can be like 15 an hour, for instance. And then you might have something related to ads as well. Like an ad reviewer could be 18 to 29, for instance, with an average of 23, according to some people. So it depends on the job, but overall, so out of overall reviews, We Localize has a 3.7 out of 5 star rating, 69% recommend working here to a friend. Um, if you do get benefits, some of them do say that they have them, but 2.8 out of 5 stars, I wouldn't expect a whole lot for benefits here. And then as far as salary, we've already kind of been over, you know, that, you know, the, the salary can vary quite a bit. Like I said, it could be anywhere from like 15 an hour to 40 an hour, depends on who you ask. But 
Sometimes they'll tell you like on each individual job how much it pays, but it's never really the same. A lot of times it will vary depending on the country and depending on the job. But hopefully this was helpful. These are a bunch of worldwide work from home jobs available that you can check out. These are companies that you can check almost any time instead of just having to rely on a company, you know, having one job listing every once in a while. These are companies that are always actively hiring that you can check if you're trying to find something in just about any country. So other than that, if you like this type of content, if you want me to do more content like this, please click the like button. Also, if you are looking for something that you want me to cover in the future or you want to ask me a question, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible and I'll see you in the next video.